Thank you, Karen Corla. Uh, this question is to ask the Minister if she will replace three lost posts in a school in Dublin 15 in an extremely disadvantaged area. Uh, it relates to St Philip's Senior National School, but it's just a carbon copy of every other school in the country that have lost serious posts of responsibility. But in this case, it includes the loss of an assistant principal post, uh, the organising of a care team for students, library, discipline, and a whole range of absolutely vital posts that the school can't function without. Thank you. Minister. The staffing in the school referred to by the deputy has reduced from 22 teachers to 20 teachers. This was due to a reduction in the overall enrolments in the school and a reduction in the number of eligible pupils in the school for English language support. A teacher in the school who had an assistant principal allowance retired. While this teacher was replaced for the purposes of teaching duties, the school did not qualify under the department's alleviation arrangements to have an assistant principal allowance assigned to another teacher. These alleviation arrangements at primary level are limited and are targeted at schools that have lost at least three assistant principal posts. It is important to recognise that this school, as a Desh Band 1 school, continues to receive enhanced staffing and grants from my department. In the current school year, the ratio of pupils to teachers is about 15 to 1 in Desh Band 1 category schools. Uh, Minister, the last government began the gutting of education, uh, but now it looks like this government seems to be continuing it. Obviously, class sizes have increased, there's less teachers, but there's also a very underreported serious impact of the loss of posts of responsibility. Schools are about more than just chalk and talk. They can't function with, unless there are teachers assigned to carry out events, pastoral care, organise things like IT, young scientists, the library, social and bereavement follow-up. But in this particular case, there's been a loss of a teacher to organise a care team. For students in a disadvantaged working class area, that's an absolutely vital thing to do. Uh, I'm asking you to breach the, uh, the ban that you have, the moratorium you have for vital posts in this particular case, and to, to stop the continuing gutting of education. You keep telling us we're in recovery, so why are you continuing to make schools and children suffer because of the loss of these serious posts of responsibility? Minister. Well, first of all, we're not gutting education, Deputy Coppinger. In fact, um, you know, we've, we've managed, despite the growing demographics, to, uh, to maintain pupil-teacher ratio, etc. Um, I have discussed the general issue around um, loss of these posts with uh, a number of the education partners. Um, it is a concern and it's one that we want to address. But just to say on the particular school, and I do appreciate that it is in a, a very disadvantaged situation, is in Desh Band 1. But the school has a principal and deputy principal post. It also has one assistant principal post and six special duty posts in the current school year. Due to the retirement of a teacher in the school, the number of assistant principal posts reduced from two in 2013 to one in the current school year. So I do acknowledge that they have lost um, one post in that regard. But uh, they do have a number of, of other um, similar posts. And um, I suppose just I do recognise Deputy Coppinger um, because I'm aware of uh, Desh Band 1 schools and the difficulties that they, uh, that they operate in. But, um, you know, there, as I say, there, there is a, a system there where um, in certain situations um, posts can be retained. But unfortunately, this school doesn't fit into that category. Um, but, you know, they do have uh, the extra um, posts that do go with Desh Band 1. And um, as I say, I am conscious uh, and uh, the various um, partners in education that I've met with in the last couple of months have made me aware of the fact that there are issues around uh, management posts and middle management posts in schools, both primary and post-primary, and I want to address that as soon as I can. Minister, my information is that they have a deputy, an assistant principal and four posts, not six, so maybe you would check that with your officials. I think people would have expected a lot more from a Labour Minister of Education that Labour, in particular when the economy is meant to be improving, would restore the lost posts in schools, which are having a really detrimental impact on uh, education. Is it a conscious policy now, Minister, of work on the cheap in schools? As was referred to earlier, you have building workers and bricklayers on strike at Kisho Community College in Lucan, who are objecting to the rates of pay and to the practice of black Sorry. economy Stick, uh, which is a serious, yeah, it's very relevant. Which is a serious loss of revenue to the state. 
This has been ongoing for about two years no, and a Labour minister is standing over it. Is it a conscious policy of a race to the bottom that you're encouraging in this government? Would you not get revenue in by charging these big developers, big building owners like Rattigan? The proper Sorry, Deputy, but you don't start naming people here in the chamber. Deputy, you don't. Will you resume your seat? Deputy.